I this bill in this demo I'll be showing you about still client scripts. So as you can see on the top left, right? So I've already um done a search under the application menu to um basically navigate to the client scripts. And to the right, this is the content frame. And you will see the different client scripts uh, applied to different tables. So now, as you already know that the tables are basically module based and let us navigate to and search for the incident module. And you will find here, these are all the client scripts inside the, um or under the incident module. And on the left, uh, these are the names, as you can see, um, that the naming convention is actionable, like um, work notes, mandatory, calculate, and so on, right? So let us drill down to one of the client scripts under incident, right? So so client scripts is, is um, JavaScript, right? So it's kind of like um, second or third level service now, um, customization and and um on a lot previous lesson it was business rules where you have the ability to choose either to just um a no code configuration right doing a preset on the fields but here you need to apply javascript skills right and you'll find on the top right so we started with the name on the activity that you'll be doing or what the client script will be doing and uh, what table is it uh, applied to? And and on top of the module is basically, are, are you going to use it over the mobile or desktop, right? And when is it going to happen, right? So these four here is our JavaScript behaviors, right? So, or I'll step further back. This is some um, web behavior, right? So on sell edit, on change, on load, on submit, these are, events these are javascript events and since service now is a web application so all the um, principles of javascript and the web also applies here so when i say client side right and business rules is basically server side so there's two sides of the story so um i'll cover a much more deeper aspect of that once we move to the scripting fundamentals uh, which is the uh, next in line on my tutorials, right? So as we move forward under the incident name, on change of what, right? So it applies to the priority field of the incident table, right? So once it has um, chosen the condition, then it will apply the script. So reading JavaScript, right? So so I'll I'll just move forward in the middle, um, since um G underscore form, right? This is a JavaScript object, um, unique to the service now library, right? So so what it does is after it meets this condition, do this, right? So so basically this is quite advanced, but uh, it will give you a feel, what a client script is, in service now. So follow for more. Um, once we deep dive on scripting fundamentals, then then we'll be diving deeper on what client script can do um, in into action. But in a nutshell, how it can help you basically what it does it's it makes a field mandatory, right? And and um, as you can see here, uh, this is one of the few actions, right? So if I move forward and G underscore form, right? To confuse you further, then you do a dot. So this is a different activities that um, client script can do under the G underscore form object, right? So, so basically, um, my goal is to let you know uh, what client script does. But for further reading, for your understanding, let's go to the documentation. And depending on the version um, you're at right now, this is Utah, and you could change it accordingly um, to the most latest or Vancouver. And um, you could basically do a search, right? The official documentation of service now on what client script basically does, right? So once we click client scripts, right? So you will see here 
and it fully describe what JavaScript can do. And and it's quite straightforward, right? You can see here, it can make fields here that are visible and so on. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you again.